This introduction to important sampling is offered by Statlect.com, the free digital textbook on probability, statistics, and matrix algebra. Important sampling is a variance reduction technique. We use it to reduce the variance of the approximation error that we make when we use a Monte Carlo simulation to approximate an expected value. Let us review the main steps in a Monte Carlo simulation. Consider a random variable x and a function g of x. A Monte Carlo simulation is used to approximate the expected value of g of x. We use a computer to generate a pseudo-random sample of draws from the distribution of x. The end draws are denoted by x1, x2 and so on. We compute g of xi for each i. Then we take the sample mean of the values we have computed. The sample mean is the Monte Carlo approximation of the expected value of g of x. When we perform a Monte Carlo simulation, we often incur in a problem that can be brilliantly solved by important sampling. The problem arises when there are values of the function g of x that, despite being quite unlikely, are very large and therefore provide a significant contribution to the expected value of g of x. Let's call these values important values. If we fail to extract these important values during our Monte Carlo simulation, the approximation of the expected value of g of x ends up being a poor one. Here's how important sampling works. What we do is to draw our random variable x not from its true distribution, but from a wrong distribution that assigns higher probabilities to the important values. Then, when we compute the sample average of g of x, we downweight the values that have been extracted too often. In this way, the Monte Carlo simulation still provides an unbiased estimate of the expected value of g of x. However, we decrease the risk of failing to extract the important values. As you can see in the formula on this slide, the weight given to a single value is the ratio between its true probability and the probability of being extracted in the simulation. What did we mean exactly when we said that a Monte Carlo simulation that misses the important values may provide a poor approximation, and that important sampling may help to improve the approximation? In a Monte Carlo simulation, we use the sample mean of the pseudo-random draws as an estimator of an expected value. The estimator is accurate if its variance, or its squared root, called standard error, are small. To compute the standard error of a standard Monte Carlo simulation, we need to work out the sample variance of g of x, while in an important sampling simulation we calculate the sample variance of g of x weighted by the ratio of probabilities. Once we have computed the sample variance, we divide it by the number of draws and we take the square root. The result is the so-called standard error, which provides a measure of the accuracy of the Monte Carlo simulation. It turns out that we can often reduce the standard error significantly by using the important sampling technique. We conclude this introduction by showing an example of important sampling. You can find more details about this example on statlec.com. In the upper left panel, we plot a function g of x that takes large values in the right tail of the true distribution of x. These values are quite important, as shown in the lower left panel, where we plot a measure of importance. The measure of importance is equal to the value of g of x multiplied by the probability of x. In the upper right panel, we plot the wrong probability distribution used in importance sampling. The wrong distribution assigns higher probabilities to the important values, as shown in the lower right panel. By performing important sampling in this manner, we managed to reduce the variance of the approximation by about 85%. Thank you for watching this introductory video. On statlec.com you can find more in-depth lectures, examples and exercises on hundreds of topics in probability statistics, and matrix algebra.